Hello everyone, welcome back to my tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to solve this banner under plane stress problem. So find the deformation shape and determine the maximum stress distribution. It has made up of a steel with an X modulus 2 into 10 power 5 Newton per mm square and thickness is 3 mm, Poisson ratio is 0.27. Now we'll model this spanner and we'll solve by using a plane stress condition. So now I have opened Salomeca. First go to geometry model. Now we are in the geometry model. In this case, I'm going to solve in mm only. So just I'm going to model it in the same mm unit. So first I'm going to model a rectangle. It has 13 mm height and 120 mm length. X is 120, Y is 13. Fit screen. This is the rectangle. Just apply and close. Now I have created this rectangle. Now we will create this circle. The circle, it has a radius of 15 mm. Now just go to new entity, basic circle. So just origin, OZ, radius is just 15. Now just apply and close. Now we have to move this into center. Center point is here now. We have to move the height of 6.5. Just translation the height of y direction 6.5. Just apply and close. Now we have translated. Now we have to translate this into the length of here. New entity translation not y actually x direction we have to translate to 130 this is 0 just see this case we can translate into 135 30 yeah this is enough just apply and close now we have translated here now we just want to create this cut for that we have to create this rectangle of 15 into 18 basic rectangle so here y direction is 15 x is 18 x is 18 y is 15 just apply and close now it has to be trans translated to here operation translation One forty five, one thirty five, one thirty, one twenty five. this is enough okay just apply and close now we will build the face one by one build face just okay and uh, for the first rectangle build a face just apply and close then we have to build a face to this translated face build face apply and close now we'll fuse these two go to operation boolean fuse 
views this one as well as press the control and select this shift and select this face just use it now we have to remove this face boolean cut select this views tool object is this this one just apply and close now see now we have created this panel now we'll apply the boundary conditions so here you can see up to the length of 55 we need to fix it so for that so from here to here we have to create one point point x distance is 55 just apply and close here we have to create on plane and partition it go to new entity basic here there is option called plane so vertex we are it has chosen already now go to vector is ox vector plane size i'm giving some 50 this plane size is enough just okay now we have to partition it just select this cut operation partition select the tool object as a plane this is you can keep it as a face also just apply and close now just see now we have created a separate edge here to apply the boundary condition now we can save this file go to file save as pictures code aster spanner i'm just saving here so now i have saved now we have modeled the geometry so so this geometry we have modeled it now we'll create a groups to apply the boundary conditions so just select this partition one go to new entity groups create groups first we have to create a face group all the faces i'm just naming a spanner then we'll create a edge group to apply the boundary condition i'm just selecting this edges to fix fix it just press the shift and select the edges one by one just add it here this is the edge number here i'm naming it as fix just apply now i just want to apply a load here select this edge add load just apply and close now we have created the groups now now we have created the groups then we'll move into code aster or aster study to create the setup to solve the case now just move into aster study actually we have to create a mesh just go to mesh model select this partition one mesh create mesh here i'm going to create a tria element using netgen 1d 2d algorithm here simple algorithm i'm choosing using local length i'm specifying it as so 14 i'm just giving 5 save ok just apply and close compute so this is showing a little coarse mesh to make it finer edit mesh i'm just giving you one save ok apply and close just compute so this mesh is enough so now we have created the mesh now we'll uh, create a setup here you can see we have edge group actually this load we are going to apply as a node group further just select this here create a group from geometry instead of edge group elemental group i'm going to use a load as a node group select the load just apply it close now see we got a nodal group here so this is the nodal group so here we are going to apply the load now just go to aster study so now we can create the setup by using assistant linear elastic model here we can use 2d and 3d mesh mesh this is actually c plane that means plane stress case go to next here we are modeled in mm so we have to give unit in same value 
This is a point two seven actually zero point two seven. Next, here fixing it plane stress problem. We need not to specify this z direction coordinate because it has only a two coordination. So I am just fixing this fixed group in x and y. Then just go to next pressure group. We can apply. So simply, what I'm going to do, dummy load group I'm creating. Go to next. I'm just saving this file. So I just naming is given name this. Just finish. Now we are, I have created the setup. First, we'll check the setup. I have created a mesh. Then I'm just reading the mesh here. Just defining the model. This is a plane stress model. Defining the material and assigning the material to the model. Then here we are fixing it. Here we have to apply as a nodal group, nodal force. For that, just go here. Force nodal A. Edit. Group of node, as we have chosen this group of node, just save OK. The force value is two hundred. So in y direction. So I'm just giving a two hundred. Just save OK. Just apply and OK. To apply the force in the nodal group, we have to count the number of nodes here. So for that. Just go to mesh. Here, just give this so only. We can count this nodes. Go to mesh information. Number of node is fifteen. So now, just go to aster study again. This pressure value, switch it off. This force nodal change as a into variable. Add a variable. Force is equal to 200 divided by 15 nodes. This is the force value we have to apply. Just OK. Just apply and OK. Now this is the result. What it will do? It will calculate the static analysis, and it will it solve the static analysis solver, and it calculate this displacement. From that, we have to calculate the stress. Further, just go to post processing, call champ. Here we have to add two values. One is sigma L no and sigma nodal. Here we have to add. S A E Q L no and S A E Q note. That's it. Just apply and OK. Here I have given unnamed. Just give the same name. Just apply and OK. Here output. Just apply and OK. Now we can solve this case. Just go to history view. Give some five seconds to auto refresh and just run it. If any error comes, we can view it here. Now it is solved without error. Now we can view the result by using Paravis. Just go to Paravis. Just right-click this build-in and open it. Just navigate the folder where you are, are you are solving. This is my file. Just open. Just apply. 
here i am just changing it to gradient background now first we'll see the displacement so this is the displacement i'm just changing this color into blue to red rainbow color just apply and close and here i'm just changing into 12 okay so to see this deform shape just click this generate vector just apply it then just go to wrap by vector just apply now we, we have given a force value in the positive direction that's in, we are pulling in this direction that's why it's bending in this direction we are pulling in this direction actually we have to give the negative value no issues it will give both same stress now see this is bending in this way make this into 12 this one is the one meter stress one meter stress value is 820 megapascal is getting 820 mega pascal is the one with stress we can go for directional stress also in y direction this is the y directional stress this one is the x directional stress so thank you for watching my videos please subscribe my channel for more videos Thank you.